no Curry, no problem. The Warriors have won back-to-back -back games without Steph Curry. They're in Houston tonight. They've owned the Rockets, winning 10 straight meetings, but Houston will be the favorite here. Is this a case of the wrong team favored? We're going to talk about it, but before we do, i got to tell you about a promotion we have available right now at wagertalk.com. For a limited time, you can get all access NBA 30 days, less than $5 a day. This is available for any of the great handicappers at wagertalk.com. That includes this guy right here. I am the number one NBA profit handicapper this season for the calendar year of 2024 and dating back to 2021 when I started with the company, number one in profits with NBA player props. We did cash in our player prop last night in the video and we swept the board for clients going 3-0 with NBA player props. Uh, as always, there's no purchase necessary. You're more than welcome to tune in just for the free picks. The only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button. That will allow me to keep putting out these videos. With that, let's get into it. Houston will be a five and a half point favorite. The total sits at 217 and a half. As I mentioned, the Warriors have owned the Rockets. They've won 10 straight. They've covered in seven of those 10 games, and they've covered in five of the last six meetings. However, no Steph Curry. That didn't stop them from beating up on the Pelicans. And uh, while they don't have Steph Curry, Buddy Heald has done his best to impersonate Steph Curry of late. Uh, he's coming off back-to-back -back big games, 11 of 23 from beyond the arc in his last two games. He is the Warriors' leading scorer, and it looks like he's beat out Jonathan Kaminga for the starting job in Golden State. And we've got to keep an eye on this moving forward. I've been cashing in on the Buddy Heald props, and I said I'll, I'll continue to ride him until the bookmakers make the adjustments. I believe they did bump that number up a little too high for my liking in the last game against New Orleans. I'm hoping that number comes back down to a reasonable price here because they are on the road. They are an underdog. Andrew Wiggins is back in the lineup. So it, it would only make sense to drop that number down a little bit. So my, my threshold is 20 and a half. That's the, the biggest number I've laid as far as Buddy Heald points. I said at the beginning of the year, watching him in preseason, seeing where he fits in in this team, and based on his career and his 40% uh, career three-point shooting percentage, uh, how he performed in college, uh, I expect Buddy to average well over 20 points per game or in the 20 to 24 points per game for the season. So anytime we're getting him at 20 and a half or lower in his over-under for total points, we're going to ride Buddy Heald. And Jonathan Kaminga, uh, no line on him yet either this morning. But uh, like I said, his minutes are down. His uh, numbers are down. He comes in averaging 11.4 points this season in 23 minutes. He averaged over 16 points per game last year and almost 27 minutes a game. Like I said, it looks like Buddy Heald is taking minutes away from Jonathan Kaminga. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, if we can get un under uh, 18 points and assists for Kaminga, we'll certainly take a look at that um, depending on the number. As far as the side here, I don't want to touch it. Like I said, the Warriors have the history in their, in their favor, but this Rockets team is getting better and Golden State is missing it, its best player. So I, I will look at the Warriors team total. Uh, we're going to go Golden State team total over. We're going to look for a good number in the Kaminga PRA or points, rebounds, assists under. Yeah, let's say uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, between 18 and 20. And the threshold for healed points over is 20 and a half. Anything under that, and we're going over. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. You got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, hit me up in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.